Effective Design Processes of Constructed Wetlands Constructed wetlands are the imitation of natural wetlands to carry out physical chemical and biological processes in a controlled way. Types of constructed wetland are Free water surface and subsurface flow system Horizontal and vertical flow constructed wetland and hybrid flow constructed wetland Vertical flow constructed wetland is a wetland in which wastewater enters from the top of the wetland and drains out from the bottom. The vertical flow constructed wetlands need lesser area, 1 to 3 meter square population equivalent and are efficient in nitrification. In the horizontal flow constructed wetland, the wastewater flows from inlet of the bed to the outlet of the bed horizontally. The area requirement of horizontal flow constructed wetlands are much higher, 5 to 10 meter square population equivalent when compared to vertical flow constructed wetlands but they are efficient in the nitrification. In order to increase the aeration in the system tidal flow constructed wetlands are effectively used but it increases the energy footprint thus they are less popular. Hybrid constructed wetland is a system having a multi-stage of the treatment which amalgamates the advantages of vertical flow constructed wetlands and horizontal flow constructed wetlands as they are mostly used in wastewater treatment. The baffled subsurface flow constructed wetland consists of vertical baffle which guides the wastewater to flow up and down. Baffled flow constructed wetlands reduces the area footprint and increases the efficiency of organic matter and nutrient removal. A typical treatment scheme of constructed wetlands based sewage treatment plant is shown. It consists of preliminary treatment to remove floating matter and grits. Primary treatment to remove excess suspended matter and secondary treatment using constructed wetland to remove dissolved organic matter nutrients and metals. The typical design criteria of different constructed wetlands type is shown in table. Subsurface flow constructed wetlands are not only efficient in contaminant removal but also require less space and hydraulic retention time. Intermittent aeration 3 to 6 hours a day creates alternative oxic and anoxic condition which enhances the nitrogen removal, even at low carbon nitrogen ratio. 30 to 50 percent effluent recirculation significantly improves the organic and nutrient removal efficiency, since it allows more contact time between microbes and wastewater. Variation of dissolved oxygen with depth is of great importance since it is directly related to nitrification and denitrification. It is clearly shown in figure that dissolved oxygen decreases with depth but the rate of dissolved oxygen variation is highly dependent on hydraulic loading rate. Low hydraulic loading rate causes very significant dissolved oxygen decrease. Constructed wetland a more sustainable technology. One should consider the use of industrial waste as a substrate in a constructed wetland. It is found that plastic media has an anti-clogging property with the high specific area. Intermittent aeration and recirculation of the treated effluent increases the performance of constructed wetlands. This research paper published in the Journal of International Environmental Science and Technology.